Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I would like to share my thoughts with you about the product I recently purchased. And by the product, I mean Natasha Denona Zendo palette. So as you all know, Natasha Denona's palettes are pricey. And as you all probably know, I am not a makeup artist, uh, not by far, and I still want to have nice eyeshadow palettes in my collection, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, I also assume that most of you watching me now are not makeup artists too, uh, and if you are not, then I guess there are some eyeshadow palettes that are better to use, that are more like user-friendly for people like us, uh, where we don't really have to put too much effort to create a nice eye look. And there are some palettes that, even though they look stunning, uh, whenever I just try and apply them on my eyelids, it just looks ridiculous. And there are like makeup artists creating like amazing looks with this palette, but me, no. So that's why I would like to tell you a little bit about this palette. Uh, I'd like to tell you about my experience with it, uh, my very unprofessional experience, uh, what my thoughts are, is it user friendly, is it worth the money, and I'm going to show you all the swatches, like live swatches, so that you can see how the, these eyeshadows transfer on skin. So let's start. So as you can see, the packaging is really pretty. It's very like a, a reflective kind of surface here, uh, which looks gorgeous, but uh, you have to be aware that your fingerprints will transfer all over it uh, in no time and it just stop looking amazing. Uh, unless uh, you are obviously that person who cleans their palettes. Um, all the time, I don't, I don't. They just look messy at some point then. Yeah. So this is how the palette looks inside. Uh, we have some warm tones here and some cool tones on this side. This is inspired, this whole palette is inspired by nature. I think you can easily tell that uh, just looking at uh, those shades. They're stunning, but you can straight away tell that this eyeshadow palette is actually quite dark. So if you have like a very fair skin tone, you might actually need some additional shades to create a uh, complete eye look. Uh, we have some mattes, some shimmers, we have a duochrome, this one here, uh, and we do have some cream to powder formulations in here. So uh, this is not important now, but I'm going to tell you why is it important later on. Okay, so let's do the swatches now. I'm going to go from, uh, from this part of the palette and like that. Uh, I'm going to swatch all the shades and tell you uh, what these colors are supposed to be. So let's start here. So this is Mindful, which is medium cinnamon. Well, this one actually has a really nice pigmentation. Then we have Luster, which is bronze gold. Balance, light medium caramel. Flow, medium silver blue teal. That's the one here. So now we have Mantra, which is a medium greenish teal. Aura, medium golden orange red, this one here. Uh, Viger, medium muted red coral. Oh, that one's a little bit patchy, isn't it? And then we have Relief, light medium pink coral. Then we have Equilibrium, and this is medium dark silver teal. Ooh, that one is gorgeous. Next up we have Breath uh, Pastel Mint. Next one is uh, Sense Pink Copper. Oh, I'm running out of space. Oh, this one is really pretty. Really pretty. I just probably need to, yeah, I'll just put some more here. And then we have a Tranquil Light Warm Rose, which is this one here. So now I have a Calm, which is Pastel Peach. I'm going to squeeze that one here. All right. And then we have Yama, which is Light Peach Bronze with Green Reflects. This is the Duochrome that I mentioned before. And look. Look how pretty it actually looks. And then the last one will be Zeal, which is Dark Dusty Army Green. So... It's on this finger here, let's just put it here. Yeah, that one's a really nice pigmentation. Uh, it seems like it's a little bit patchy, but I think it's just the, uh, the uh, where I actually put it, uh, very next, very close to my wrist. So 
it actually transferred quite nicely. So these are all the swatches, as you can see, uh, some of them swatched better than the others. Uh, from my experience, they actually uh, transferred quite nicely uh, on my eyelids, uh, but on my forearm, this is, this is pretty much how it looks. So some of them you can tell straight away are better than the others, right? So let's talk about how user-friendly is this palette. So, okay, I'm going to tell you straight away, not very much, okay? This is, first of all, the shades are quite difficult to work with. Uh, first makeup I tried to create, first look I tried to create with this palette was like a mix of cool and warm tones, you know, just to see, and it didn't really work that well, to be honest. Then I created some makeup looks with uh, only the warm part of the palette. Uh, today, as you can probably tell, I am uh, wearing these shades from the cooler uh, side of the palette, and I mean, if you just use this palette like that, then it works all right. If you try and mix the colors, it might you know, the results you'll achieve might not be that amazing. So that's my number one problem with this palette. The second thing I need to mention are the formulas. I mean, obviously we do have uh, some inconsistency in formulas. Not all of them are super amazing. Uh, this one comes a little bit patchy. Uh, on my eyelids, I didn't really like how it worked. Uh, other than that, uh, they were all right-ish. But the problem I had was with uh, the cream to powder formulas because I don't really have much experience with them. Um, I find them quite easy to use, but you have to bear in mind that they have to be applied with like a stiff um, a brush. And also they don't really blend nicely with neighboring colors. Uh, they work perfectly if you just apply them on the bottom and then just apply some other shades on top of that. Uh, then it works perfectly. But if you want to blend it with like a neighboring color, neighboring shade, it might not really work that well. So I would say this eyeshadow palette is not necessarily the easiest one to use. Uh, it's not necessarily the uh, most user-friendly. If you are new to makeup world, I will probably just either choose a different palette from Natasha Denona's collection, she has some lovely palettes there, or you kind of have to brace yourself up with uh, some patience and just work with this palette. Because this is a gorgeous palette, but it does require a lot of like work and playing around with. Um, because with time, you know, those makeup looks uh, start to uh, be better and better. But yeah, it's just not something that just comes super easy. And just one more thing to add, this is this palette is actually an extension of a, a small Zendo palette. As you can see, there are not really that many similarities if you if you really think about it. Uh, the shades are completely different, although they are bo both kind of like nature inspired. Although maybe this is a little bit more nature-like than this one, I'm not sure. But if you are wondering uh, whether it's uh, all right to have them both, I think, I mean, go for it. They are so different uh, that uh, you're not really losing anything apart from money, obviously. So these are my thoughts about Natasha Denona Zendo palette. Uh, what do you think? Um, please let me know down in the comments below uh, whether you own this one or not. Uh, if you do, uh, let me know if you find this one uh, difficult to work with or is it maybe your favorite Natasha Denona palette? Who knows? Thank you very much for watching. For more uh, beauty content, check those videos on my left side. I'm going to see you very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye!